You're drowning in to-do lists. Sleep is a distant memory and your amazing business idea feels trapped in a one-person jail. Sound familiar? But what if we told you that the key to escaping this solo entrepreneur struggle is just one hire away? That's right. Today, we're talking about hiring your first employee. The moment that takes your startup from a one-man show to a dream team powerhouse. So sit back and relax as we show you how to make this crucial decision the right one. Hello there, my name is Ian from Your Company Formations, where forming your company is super simple. The first question is, are you truly ready for an employee? Here are some signs that you may be. You're swamped. You're constantly working nights and weekends and growth is stalling because you can't handle everything. Specific skill gap. You lack a crucial skill set like coding or marketing that's hindering the process of your business. Napoleon Bonaparte said that if you want things done well, do it yourself. But it's not always the case and therefore hiring others may be your best option. Scalability. You have a proven product or service with increasing demand and it's time to scale operations. Not quite there yet, consider other alternatives. For example, freelancers. Freelancers offer a project-based work for specific tasks. It's flexible and cost-effective for short-term needs. You can find freelancers on websites such as Fiverr and Upwork as examples. It's a project-by-project -project basis term so you can hire and fire easily and you don't need to take on full-time staff. One big issue, however, is that if you hire someone to do something and then a change is needed or things stop working for you, you have to rehire the same or another freelancer again versus having an employee that's on tap and ready to do your bidding. Contractors, similar to freelancers, but often with a longer term commitment and specialized expertise. Now, if you're ready to hire, it's all about defining your needs. So here is what to consider. Job title and responsibilities. Craft a clear job description, outlining duties, qualifications, and experience level required. Culture fit. Look beyond the skills. Find someone who shares your vision, values, and work style. Budget. Be realistic about the salary and benefits you can offer at this stage. Remember, you don't have to pay the most, but if you pay the least for the area you're in, the likelihood is you'd have to compromise on the quality of the work, as anyone in the higher bracket would not apply for the role. The old adage of pay peanuts and get monkeys fits quite well here in this instance, but that's not always the case, and sometimes you can find your perfect employee for your perfect budget. Let's talk about sourcing. Here are some options to widen your search and cast the net for the perfect candidate. Job boards. Popular platforms like Indeed or LinkedIn can reach a wide audience. Networking. Attend industry events or connect through your professional network. Consider alumni groups or local business associations. Social media. Utilize platforms like LinkedIn or Twitter to target specific skill sets. You can also join relevant online communities to find passionate individuals in your field. When crafting your job posting, don't just list the responsibilities. Sell the opportunity. Highlight your company culture, the chance to be part of something exciting from the ground floor, and the potential for growth alongside your business. Interviews are your chance to assess the fit, not just skills. Here are some tips to get the most out of this crucial stage. Structured questions. Prepare a mix of questions that assess both technical skills and cultural fit at the same time. Behavioral questions. Ask about past experiences to understand how they handle challenges and approach problems. Sell your vision. Get them excited about your company and the opportunity to grow with you. This is also your chance to assess their enthusiasm and passion for your mission. Certain job boards like Indeed offer a pre-screening interview also. So you can have the candidates make video or audio responses to the various questions before having to schedule the interview time for a live interview. Also, it's a great idea to add a small task or request the candidate write specific words in their responses. That way you can tell if the candidate really has read the job description right from the get-go and you can wheedle down the hundreds of applicants a lot quicker. 
Congratulations, you found your top candidate. Here's what to do next. A formal offer. Clearly outline the salary, benefits, start dates and job expectations in a written offer letter. Onboarding. Don't underestimate the importance of a smooth transition. Provide training, introduce them to the company culture and set them up for success from day one. Hiring your first employee is a momentous step. It marks the beginning of building your dream team. A team that will take your vision and turn it into a reality. By carefully considering your needs, conducting a thorough search and making a well-informed decision, you'll be well on your way to achieving explosive growth and propelling your company to new heights. Remember, your first hire sets the tone for your company culture. This is your chance to find someone who is as passionate and motivated about your idea as you are. So don't settle. Take your time, follow the steps we've outlined and welcome aboard the incredible person who will be your partner in this exciting journey. Want to learn more about building a strong company culture or dive deeper into the legalities of hiring your first employee? Check out the resources linked in the description below or head over to our website yourcompanyformations.co.uk where you can have a chat to one of our friendly team to make sure that you dot all the I's and cross all the T's when it comes to the hiring process and the paperwork needed. And of course, how we can make it simpler for you. Thanks for watching.